and uh, hopefully the sheet that I've given you will kind of help you uh, outline things a little bit better. So here's what the composition of functions look for, looks like. It can be written one of two ways, just like we've looked at all the operations we've looked at so far, and we can write it two ways. These are the two ways that the composition of functions can be written. But both ways, you read it f of g of x. That's how you would read that. f of g of x is how that is uh, put into words. But what we're going to do is we're going to start on the inside and we're going to work our way out. Okay, so to me, the inside for number 20, we're going to start with the negative 6. And we're just going to kind of work our way out. We're going to put negative 6 in the H. We're going to get an answer. We're going to take that answer and we're going to plug it into G. So follow along here on your on that green paper that I just gave you. Okay, let me look at it so I know exactly what I have. All right, so we're going to start with h of negative 6. So we're going to plug negative 6 into our h of x function. So h of negative 6. And I have parentheses on there on purpose. Okay, put parentheses around these numbers. So plug in negative 6 into those first two blank parentheses there. And then we're going to either type it into our calculator or we're going to do it in our head, but negative 6 squared is 36 plus 2 times negative 6 is negative 12, so 36 plus negative 12 is 24. So on the next line, we're going to have g of 24. Okay, we're working our way out. We did the h of negative 6, we got 24 for it. So we're going to plug that into g. So our g of x function is 3 times 24 plus 1. So 3 times 24 is 72. 72 plus 1 is 73. So g of h of negative 6 is 73. If you want to go back up and write that on the second line where I've got g of h of negative 6, uh, that's fine. That's kind of up to you. Okay, so we get another one, 21. It's written in the other form, f of g of negative 3. It's got that little circle. Okay, be careful, that's not times. That is the composition. Um, so on the note paper that I gave you, I went ahead, I prefer the other notation. So anytime I see that, I go ahead and I write it, f of g of negative 3. I write it this way because to me, I don't know, it just kind of makes more sense that way. So we start with g of negative 3. We're plugging negative 3 in for the variable in our g of x function. Don't want to mess it up, so I'm going to type it in my calculator. Being careful with parentheses, negative 2, negative 3 squared, minus 2. You can put it in parentheses or you can just put a time. Okay, if that's negative 12. So that's what we're going to plug into f. f of negative 12. Well, f is n minus 1, so negative 12 minus 1 is negative 12. 13. Okay, so I don't want to overwhelm you with information. I want you to practice with these. So on your worksheet, you've got 43 through 46. If you want to do those, I purposefully kind of left that whole side of the paper there. If you want to work it out so you can kind of follow along with the way that I set up 20 and 21. We've done compositions, evaluating them at a number. Let's work at just composing two functions. Okay, let's look at composing two functions. So 22, uh, we've got g and f, and it asks us to find g of f of x. So what I've already done there on your paper is I have already replaced f of x with its function. 
So inside these parentheses right here, I'm going to replace it with its function. So now we're just looking at g of negative 3x minus 5. I've already got that on your paper. So what we need to do on the next line is we're going to take the g of x function, put a set of parentheses where we see x, and in those parentheses, we're going to plug in that function, that negative 3x plus 5. So right in those parentheses, negative 3x minus 5. And then we're going to simplify. Okay, we need to distribute the 2. So we get negative 6x minus 10. Don't forget that plus 3 on the end. And then combine the negative 10 plus 3 to get minus 7. So that is g of f of x is negative 6x minus 7. Let me show you how you can check this on the calculator. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our y equals, and we're going to type in uh, those functions just the way that they're listed on the paper. 2x plus 3 in y1, negative 3x minus 5 in y2. In y3, what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, essentially put this composition notation in there, g of f of x, but you can't type that into your calculator like that. What we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, VARS, which is beside the clear button. You press VARS, you go over to Y VARS, and you press enter, and you should see this list of Y1, Y2, Y3, so forth and so on, and you press enter. Okay, so y1 is the g function, parentheses, we're going to do the same thing, bars, over to y bars, enter, but this time we're going to get the y2, parentheses, x, and close it with two such parentheses. Okay, so the calculator is going to calculate g of f of x, y1 of y2 of x. Now, what we need to do is we need to type in what we think the answer is, negative 6x minus 7. Now, so that we're not looking at so much stuff in the table, um, I don't know if you noticed, but you can scroll up, and where that equal sign is highlighted, you can move your cursor over there and press Enter, and it'll unhighlight it. So we want to unhighlight the first two, because we only are concerned about is y3 equal to y4. And then go to the table, and you look at the y values and make sure they all match up. Now, I know that was a little tedious, uh, but I don't know. I think it's easier to remember how to do it, but if all else fails uh, on, you know, multiple choice question, we got four answer choices to compare. This is something you can do. You just got to remember where those y1s and y2s are. Vars over to y bars. Okay, we'll do this a couple more times so you can practice that. Okay, let's look at 23. Okay, 23. We've got f of x is x squared minus 3x, g of x is x plus 5. Okay, so we're going to start by replacing g right here with its function, f of x plus 5. I've already got that written there on your paper. So we've got to plug that into our f function. So where we see x, we put parentheses, and in those parentheses, we put x plus 5. Now, this one's going to take a little bit more work than the last one because we have to square x plus 5. Again, that's not x squared plus 25. We have to multiply it by itself, x plus 5 times x plus 5, and then we're going to have to FOIL. Let's go ahead and distribute the negative 3, minus 3x minus 15. Then we can FOIL, x times x is x squared. The outside gives us 5x, the inside gives us 5x, so that's plus 10x. And then the last gives us 
positive 25. And then final step, combining like terms, 10x minus 3x is 7x, 25 minus 15 is 10. So I can check it. Now, if I didn't clear everything out of my calculator, all I have to do is replace my y1 with my first function, my y2 with my second function. I can leave y3 the way it is. And then in y4, I need to type in my function, x squared plus 7x plus 10. I deactivate y1 and y2 again, and then look at my table, make sure all my y values match, and they do. Okay? Alright, let's do one more, because I know these can be a little trickier. Let's look at 24. Okay? H of g of x. Okay, so, and this one's in the other notation, which I don't really care for, but it's the same thing as h of g of x like this. So replace g with 3x plus 4, just replacing it with its function, and then I'm going to plug that into my h of x. Everywhere I see an x, I'm going to put a set of parentheses, and plug in 3x plus 4 in its place. Now we got to save that negative sign there for the ends. We need to FOIL it out first. Three x plus four times three x plus four. Distribute the three. plus 9x plus 12. Foil it out. 3x times 3x, 9x squared. The outside, 3x times 4, 12x. The inside, 4 times 3x is 12x. So that's plus 24x. The last, 4 times 4. Plus 9x plus 12. Almost there. Distribute that negative. So we've got negative 9x squared minus 24x minus 16. Doesn't change that 9x plus 12 on the end. Finally, we can combine like terms. Negative 9x squared, negative 24 plus 9 is negative 15x, negative 16 plus 12 is negative 4. Okay, let's check it. We've got negative x squared plus 3x, 3x plus 4. Keep that middle one the same. Negative 9x squared minus 15x minus 4. Look at the table all the y values match up. Okay?